Lindsay Anderson's classic film, If, is a satirical criticism of British public school systems that extends to the illustration of the flaws within class hierarchy systems too. The film, the cinematic debut of Malcolm McDowell, demonstrates through exaggeration how the divide between a ruling class force and a lower class frequently oppressed by those further up the hierarchy can create resentment that eventually leads to revolution and upheaval, all within the confines of a traditional all-boys British sixth form college. Early on in the film, the class system division is established. A young boy, clearly a new pupil, asks those older than him a question, resulting in being told that he's scum and that scum cannot talk to those higher than he is within the hierarchy. The young boy, naive to the school's ways, is completely unaware of what this division means, but the film is already establishing a distance between the younger students and the prefects, the preferred class of students who are favoured by the school faculty and staff. These prefects are arrogant and believe themselves better than their fellow students, even sharing banquets with the headmaster who gives them permission to serve discipline as they see fit to those they consider lower than themselves, effectively illustrating the depth of corruption within this sixth form college. The corruption is carried right to the very top. This exaggerated portrayal of a sixth form college offers no privacy for any of the lesser students as they are told to line up and reveal any conditions they may have before receiving an inspection of their genitalia, completely inappropriate within the setting of an educational institution, but Lindsay Anderson's film within the first 20 minutes has already established the manipulation and corruption that the working class citizen is faced with via the exaggerated portrayal of naive and controlled students. The prefects, a depiction of the ruling upper class, are given permissions to provide punishments where they best see fit, allowing their corrupt behaviour to take hold when they let this sense of control to overstay its welcome. For example, Malcolm McDowell's character Mick is punished and is made to take a cold shower. Mick's rebellious nature is playful at first, as he avoids the cold shower by stepping too far away from the water, but as he takes his punishment, he is made to stay longer underneath the shower by the arrogant prefect. Many viewers will likely empathise with Mick. Any sense of injustice dealt to a character can make it easier to sympathise with that character character, and it can cause an intense sense of satisfaction when that character is able to deliver a comeuppance to their tormentors. If is very much a film about rebellion against the toxic forces that keep people with less power powerless, Mick will eventually plan and develop his own rebellion against the school and the prefects. His countercultural demeanour is very apparent during a scene where he and a friend skip a school class and visit a motorcycle dealership in town, only to burst out with a stolen vehicle. If Mick has no respect for the law, then he won't tolerate school hierarchies and peer pressures either. The disregard for peer pressure and hierarchy is satisfying to see. Part of Mick's ethos and philosophy should really influence more of us when we are so influenced about how others may feel about us, leading to emphasising one's own self-consciousness. Maybe we should all learn a little from Mick. In conclusion, Lindsay Anderson's film is both a humorous and revealing depiction of class division through the analogy of a Sixth form college, but it also effectively dissects the superficialities of peer pressure, school hierarchy, and favouritism that we all remember from our days in school. Mick is a reaction against these forces, and if we could learn to be a little more like Mick, maybe we would be less self conscious about ourselves and more confident to take control. <laughs> Thank you.